All right, let's talk ZBrush. If you're a digital sculptor, you know the pain. That moment when your tools get in the way of your creativity. So today we're gonna dive deep and find the absolute best laptop for ZBrush in 2026. The goal, less waiting, way more sculpting. Let's get into it. And this quote, man, this just hits the nail on the head, right? We have all been there. You're in the zone, you're laying down those final perfect details and then lag. The brush stutters, the model just won't rotate. It's the ultimate creative flow killer. And it proves that a fancy spec sheet can totally lie to you. So let's start by breaking down the core issue here. See, ZBrush is, well, it's a unique beast. It doesn't act like a video game or even a lot of other 3D apps. Its performance is tied to a really specific set of hardware needs that you won't always see in the big flashy marketing. And that's exactly why we're here. We're gonna cut right through all that noise. Forget the marketing buzzwords. We are focusing on what actually gives you a smooth, responsive sculpting experience based on how ZBrush really works under the hood. So what's the secret sauce? Well, it really just boils down to four key components. Four things that are absolutely crucial for a lag-free workflow in ZBrush. Getting these right is the difference between a machine that just flies and one that fights you every single step of the way. First, and honestly, this is the most important one, the CPU. Now, unlike rendering engines that can use dozens of cores, many of ZBrush's core sculpting operations lean heavily on the speed of just a single processor core. This means a CPU with a really high clock speed is gonna feel way faster in ZBrush than one with a ton of cores that are all running a little bit slow. Next up is memory, your RAM. The best way to think about it is like your digital sculpting table. The more complex your model gets, you know, high subdivision levels, tons of subtools, detailed textures, the more table space you need. If you don't have enough RAM, the whole system just starts to bog down and it gets bad fast. Okay, what about the graphics card? Here's the thing, you don't necessarily need the absolute most expensive top of the line GPU out there. What you do need is a modern, stable GPU that can handle a high poly viewport without turning into a slideshow. Being able to smoothly rotate your model, well, that's just non-negotiable. And finally, we've got storage. A fast NVMe SSD is absolutely essential. This is what makes sure your projects, your brushes, and all your assets load in a snap. It just keeps your whole system feeling quick and responsive. And just to really hammer that memory point home, if you take one number away from this section, make it this one, 32. For any serious ZBrush work in 2026, 32 gigabytes of RAM is the absolute minimum you should even consider. Honestly, 64 is even better if you're working on some crazy complex production asset. All right, with those four keys in mind, it is time for the main event. We're gonna run through the top five laptops for ZBrush artists this year. And every single one of these was picked because it absolutely nails the things we just talked about. Kicking things off, we have the Apple MacBook Pro 16. You know, for a long time, ZBrush was kind of seen as a Windows first app, but the performance you get from Apple's own chips is just undeniable. They deliver an incredibly fluid sculpting experience right out of the box. The MacBook Pro is really all about that perfect balance. You get this fantastic, super smooth performance, a gorgeous screen for all your creative work, and it's quiet. Plus, the battery life is something most Windows laptops can only dream of. The trade-offs? Well, you can't upgrade it later, and you might run into some niche plugins that are still Windows only. So, this machine is perfect for the artist who's always on the go, or really for anyone who just values a polished, hassle-free experience. If you want a powerful tool that just works, without a ton of fan noise or fuss, this is a top, top contender. Next up, on the Windows side of the fence, we've got the Razer Blade 16. This thing is for the artist who wants raw, unfiltered power in a really sleek package. We're talking desktop-grade components packed into a premium laptop body. Its strengths are pretty obvious. You get top-tier Intel CPUs and powerful NVIDIA GPUs. That means your viewport is gonna be buttery smooth, and if you do any rendering on the side, this machine will just fly. The premium build feels great too. Just be aware that all that power generates some serious heat and you're not gonna be straying too far from a power outlet. So yeah, if you're a dedicated Windows user and you need a laptop that can handle literally anything you throw at it from sculpting to rendering to gaming, the Razer Blade 16 is your power focus choice, hands down. Our third contender is the professional's workhorse, the HP ZBook Studio. 
Now, this isn't a consumer laptop or a gaming machine. It is a mobile workstation, built from the ground up for stability and reliability in really demanding production pipelines. And that focus on professional use is crystal clear. The performance is just rock solid with a cooling system designed for sustained high speeds. Plus, you can configure it with just massive amounts of RAM. The trade-off for all that pro-grade engineering is a heavier build and, yeah, a premium price tag. This is the machine for the artist whose work is absolutely mission critical. If you're working in a studio on assets for film or games where deadlines are tight and crashes are just not an option, the ZBook is built for you. Number four on our list is a laptop built with the artist's eye and mind, the Asus Pro Art Studio Book. And while its performance is totally excellent, its real standout feature is right there in the name, that stunning OLED screen. That screen, it gives you incredible color accuracy and contrast. It's perfect for not just sculpting, but also for texturing and look development. The overall performance is really well balanced for creative work. It might not have the most powerful GPU on our list, but it's more than enough for ZBrush and it's paired with a screen that is truly second to none. So if you're an artist who does it all on one machine, sculpting, painting, texturing, final presentation, and you demand the absolute best visual fidelity possible, the ProArt Studio Book should be right at the top of your list. And finally, we have our value champion, the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. This laptop is all about one thing, delivering the maximum amount of performance for your money. It's a total powerhouse that often comes in cheaper than its competitors. You want to know the secret to the Legion's success? It's a fantastic cooling system. It lets those high-end components run at full speed for long periods without throttling, which is a huge win for ZBrush. The downsides are pretty much what you'd expect. It's big, it's heavy, and that battery is not going to last very long. This is the perfect choice for the artist who has a home studio or a dedicated desk space. If you don't need to be super mobile and your number one priority is just getting the most sculpting power per dollar, the Legion Pro 7i is incredibly hard to beat. Okay, let's just bring it all together for a second. Looking at this, you can see how the MacBook really excels in that balanced performance, while the Razer and Legion are just duking it out for raw Windows power. The ZBook is all about stability, and the ProArt is the undisputed master of display quality. This really just shows there's no single best laptop. It's about what's best for your workflow. So, with all that information swirling around, how do you actually make the final call? Let's simplify it. We'll boil it down to a really clear framework to help you decide. Okay, step one, prioritize that fast single core CPU and at least 32 gigs of RAM. That is your foundation for a smooth ZBrush experience. Step two, choose a modern, stable GPU that actually fits your needs. You really don't have to overspend here. And finally, step three, remember that a great, color accurate display and good cooling will make those long sculpting sessions so much more enjoyable and productive. Ultimately, the best laptop is the one that just disappears. The one that lets you focus completely on your art. It's a tool that should feel like an extension of your own creativity. So looking at these options, the real question is, which one of these machines is going to be the key that unlocks your next great sculpt?